hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i do feel like i'm just gonna have to pop a little bit of a disclaimer at the start of this video it's gonna contain some christmas content and don't get me wrong this is not the start of my christmas content at all that's november however i did tease autumn really early this year and rather than save all the stuff to show you when we're actually in autumn i've just been showing you as and when we've been going along what I've been getting so I thought rather than save Christmas stuff show you when the Christmas comes about and it's all gone I am just gonna tease what they've got in I, mean, I haven't even introduced this video I'm doing a and m come shop with me and haul probably just a few clips in store but I'll um get home and show you oh I've just seen I'm parked outside B&M they've got a big pet event on with loads of discounts on Ooh. Barney might be getting treated. Some of you may mention that you missed Barney in the last video, so I'll be sure to share him in today's video when I get home. But yeah, we are at B&M. We are gonna go in, we're gonna grab a big trolley, not even one of the small ones, a big one, and head on in, see what they've got, see their new and stuff. Now, I know that there's Christmas in here because I came last week and one of the staff members, if you happen to be watching, hello, um, you know who you are, he came up to me and said that he, followed my videos he watched my videos he's seen my b&m content before and um he gave me the lowdown that the christmas stock is coming in thick and fast and yeah so i thought i would head back leave it a week head back when they've got more stuff in which is now so make sure you grab yourself a nice cozy drink and get comfy because we are going to head in see what they've got someone is literally watching me vlog right now and i'm so embarrassed <laughs> let's head on into B&M and see what they've got before I get any further into today's video I just wanted to thank today's video sponsor JJ's house which is a company online that sell the most beautiful occasion wear dresses wedding wedding style wedding guests bridesmaids girls dresses beach dresses honestly if you need a dress for whatever the occasion may be the link to um to them down below and also these dresses which i have quite a selection they do even have pjs of which i did pick up a set they are unfortunately too small for me so i would recommend sizing up these are in a small but they're this beautiful satiny finish in this gorgeous sage green color which i'm a big fan of and it's got the piping as well the white piping so it's a little like kind of short top and then the actual shorts as well i think i'm going to start with my favorite dress i've tried all of these on i'm going to end with the showstopper which could be a wedding dress i mean even the wedding dresses though could double up as beautiful like beach dresses summer party dresses I have one that would be perfect in fact two that would be ideal for like a kind of christmas ball this one of the lot is probably the one that i'm going to get most wear of it's a, a bit out of season now but it's a summery dress this one and it's got this beautiful kind of cornflower blue flower design and like ruffle frill it's like a mini dress i would say but it's not too short which is what i love i can't stand it when dresses are too short on me perfect for the end of summer but also like summer holidays winter sun another kind of like beachy wear dress i would say is this one because it's quite lightweight and thin this one so again good for like layering for the beach but if you're wanting like a i just got a bit of lipstick on it brilliant <laughs> if you're wanting to layer it up with like oh, it's, it's like very boho style you could even like festival wear this for a festival with like some cowboy boots or something but it just has the most beautiful lace detailing on the sleeves and you can see the kind of lacy panel part along the bottom of that dress as well so this is in a medium but not only do they have sizing which i would say is pretty true to size on their website they have like size charts and information that can help you find the right size for you but they can also do them like tailor-made bespoke to your sizing if you wanted to send in your sizes and they can like make them for you and they'll be with you within a few weeks one of the evening dresses that i was saying would be good for like a christmas ball or a black tie event this one is this one shoulder i feel like everyone should have at least one black long evening dress in your wardrobe so that if ever a last minute event comes up you're always sorted and again lots of these dresses come in multiple colorways so this one i went a bit bold with the burgundy deep like red 
gorgeous again like i was saying for christmas for new years if you've got like an evening event that you want to dress up for again double laid it's also got padded cups in it as well straps obviously which are adjustable as well and this one has a lovely like dramatic slit up the leg it kind of gathers here around the waist, which I find is really flattering. And this is probably my second favorite dress of them all. I just feel like I'm not gonna have that many occasions to wear this dress, but I feel like it's gonna be a special one when I do wear it. I've also got this beautiful sage green. They had a lot of their dresses I thought looked really nice in the sage green finish. Love the top part. I really, really like this kind of cowl neck design little cutouts on the sides. It's um, got these long spaghetti strap things which come off of the main straps which allow you to kind of cross the back and then cross around your mid waist. Mid waist, mid drift, your waist. Perfect for spring occasions, christenings, summer balls, just even like on holiday, if you wanted to dress up in a maxi dress and throw some sandals on with it in an evening for dinner. So next up, I've got another white dress. And this is more of like a day dress, a bit thinner, more for like holiday, I would say, or like just in the summer when it's quite warm. It's just spaghetti straps, quite a simple design, just like this ruffle panel across the top. Otherwise, it just kind of goes out into a slightly like A line, I would say. And then this other dress that I got, again in the green, this one's like a slightly deeper. If I just compare the two, can you see that one's lighter? This one's just slightly deeper, but I would still class it as like a sage green. Feels more casual, this one. So more for like day dress in summer. I think it's that one shoulder that I love particularly with the like dramatic ruffle that does stay up. Okay, so are you ready for the showstopper? Because this one is like the wow factor. Could be worn as a wedding dress. This, okay, this I imagine if you were to get married on a beach, barefoot, you wanted something that glistens in the sun as the sun's setting. Stunning. So it actually comes as two parts. This like organza material can be added on as an extra, which you could put like as a skirt. You could kind of use it how you wanted, to be honest with you. If you wanted to do create some kind of like veil with it even or something that like you could, if you had like a big bun in your hair and you wanted to like somehow clip it clip it to the button and just have like a veil and then you could just like unclip it maybe like after you were married or again a prom dress if you wanted to go white at your prom this is quite dramatic quite sexy as well if you're wanting to go a little sexy because there's a bit of skin on show it's basically the top panel part is a mesh which is sheer so it does have built-in cups so you can go like braless because it's quite a low back and then obviously the top part is sheer so you can you would be able to see a bra if you wear it so yeah it does have those like hidden um cups but um or you could even like maybe replace them with like a nude cup if you wanted to go skin tone so that you couldn't see them at all i love the detail on this dress i feel like that is what sold it to me it's so so pretty it's got really really pretty beading detail the lace is super pretty some sequins along the skirt panel which just again can you see they just glisten so so beautifully i love all of those dresses i particularly love like i said the first one for a more casual daytime look and the burgundy rich scarlet red one for a christmas do i just feel like it's so so pretty yeah that is um my little unboxing of my recent jj's house dress purchases let me know which one was your favorite thank you so much to jj's house for working with me on this part of today's video i will leave a link to them down in the description box below make sure to check them out i also have a discount code for you which i will leave on screen and again in the description box so now let's get back into the rest of the video I, if you remember, I got these in a PR parcel, these new Aero Golden Honeycomb Mockers. They are delicious. There's loads of them in B&M. So if you wanted to try them, had to B&M. Guys, the Christmas chocolates are out. I feel like I'm a traditional and always getting quality straight. However, I do actually prefer celebrations. B&M obviously always do the best sweet treats, but how nice does this sound? Bake at home, soft and gooey, brownie baking kit 
it with a lotus biscuit. That sounds a bit me. Now I would buy this because that sounds amazing. Hazelnut cream, Kit Kat chunky. However, I received a message on Instagram saying that they were gonna send me some. So very, very grateful. And I'll try it first, see how I like it. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. And then I know that B&M is the place to get them and on sale. They have this winter harvest range, which has like autumn-y, Christmas-y things in. For instance, this wreath, it's kind of like, could be autumn, could be Christmas, do you know what I mean? And then, as you can tell over here, we've got like kind of a mixture. So there's like little toadstools over there, then pine cone wreaths, sparkly ones, stags. So yeah, it's kind of like all mixed together. They're kind of like autumn as well. These little um, pine cones at four, not pine cones, acorns, four pounds. They've got a couple of vases, which I think look really nice. Like they could be like Zara Home, this Karina Bailey range, eight pounds. Although that one does look a little bit scratched. And then I like the texture on this one. Urban Loft, eight pounds. These candles look very similar to, oh, I like the lid. Cute. Look very similar to the ones that you can get in Home Sense for about, I think they're about twelve pounds. I feel like I've been here before. Familiar with the view. This ain't nothing new. And every time that you walk through the door, I'm hit by the same old side. Not exactly the same, but I feel like this is kind of giving white company vibes. This lamp at £22, so just the plain glass base, and then they've got plain concrete bases up there for £20. Those of you that have been watching me go through my storage room as well, these are the boxes that I get, the size 80 litre. This is like a where Halloween meets Christmas aisle. Ooh, yummy biscuits. Oh gotta resist for now oh it looks like there's some more oh yeah these are nice some more from the kind of like harvest range that they've got these little pumpkins at three pounds knit pumpkins wreaths garlands ceramic ones at two pounds the mugs which i saw earlier at three pound fifty this one's nice it's a light up amber glass one that one's eight pounds then they've got this aisle too and another little tiny tiny mini look how cute that is hold on let me zoom you in two pound fifty that little pumpkin quite like these bowls trick or treat bowls and then it says spooky on that one back there and they've got more of like a, a ghost plate as well good for halloween if you're hosting a little halloween party if you are hosting a party this is quite good at only four pounds so that's the last of it now all i can see ahead is are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Oh, Christmas. Christmas is here. <gasps> Where to begin? Toadstools at Christmas as well. Is this going to be a thing? Obviously, it's big for autumn, but Christmas as well? I'm not so sure. It's kind of like the gonks. I never really, like, took to the gonks either, but I kind of, for nostalgia vibes, want to get something like this Santa because I just feel like we had these growing up. Oh, look at him with his navy coat on. Yeah, look guys, more toadstools in like champagne gold and rose gold. Oh, they're nice. Alphabet stocking hangers at the top there in silver. If I had kids, I would for sure be getting something like this. Letter to Santa pack. So the gift wrap selection this year, um, these, I actually bought them last time. I'll show you them in today's video at the end when I get back home in my haul. But these two wrap, gift wraps, love both of them so so much one pound fifty each and then this sack i love as well these are good for popping your like we get sacks like this for tom's nieces to put their presents in and then we are hosting as well this year so i need to get buying for some crackers and i really like the look of these ones with the touch of green which we have in our kitchen kind of white company style with the white stars yeah really like them and then all of the ribbons out as well Oh my goodness. So this is more of that range where they've got the gift bags as well. They also do the crackers with that. I just wish the whole box were just these two designs, not the gold dots. Otherwise I would have got that one, but I'm not so sure on the spotty ones. But anyway, this is 
more selection of gift wraps and pink ones as well these are the ones that i used last year love this and white company do one very similar actually and then on this side they've got the blue and white and gray and then the more traditional burgundy and green which i also really like i feel like my theme for my tree this year because i'm gonna have two but one of them i kind of want to have these colors i just they're just nostalgic and traditional and i really like it look more toadstools i've done a full in-depth overview of their christmas pet range over on barney's tiktok and instagram if you wanted to see it in better detail but just to give you guys a quick overview as well they've also got the kind of like christmas jumpers the stockings and also the sacks i think these are so lovely So the new range of stockings and sacks that they're doing this year with the letters on incredible they're like a creamy beigey oatmeal kind of color boucle fabric so so nice with the kind of champagne gold oh i'm really tempted but we've already got our stockings and sacks from like last year and previous years but this is just so much more my theme i think the ones we've got are like gray these are beautiful. I'm actually just going to take it as a sign that they don't have our letters, but I feel like these are going to sell out super quick this year. And then they've also got these, which I thought were really nice. Nine foot wooden garland, five pound. This is gorgeous. Oh, I just love the all white look. Can't tell you how tempted I am for this. Massive santa but i think i'm just gonna wait until home since start bringing their christmas things out but yeah it's only 35 pounds i feel like him just sat in front of the tree or stood in front of the tree with a fortnum and mason's hamper gorgeous so they're kind of like anthropology jute mugs that they do the letter ones this year this is the design that they brought out in green red and blue i think the green one's probably my favorite actually then they've got these ones they had these are at least similar to these last year. I don't remember seeing these ones. £3.50. And then what else have we got? Lots of kitchenware. Again, in that kind of same font as the like wrapping paper that I showed you. They've also got the mug version at £4, just like the plain glass mug. They've brought these out again this year, which I remember getting two of these last year. But now that we've got a bigger table and we are hosting, I'm tempted to pick up a few more so we've got enough for everyone as actual placemats i don't know if there'd be enough room on the table though because they're quite like big we're maybe better off just keeping two as like um standout placemats for like either end of the table or for down the middle for hot plates or something but yeah really really nice love them and they're just six pound for a set of two why do i love these so much look they've got the little in fact, who did these last year? Anthropology, again, they're dupe anthropology with the little Christmas trees on top, these candles. Nordic Pine Forest, five pounds. And then how cute is that with the little wooden sleigh on the top? Frosty Mountain Air, five pounds. Then a little white company dupe, six pounds. They've got um, more scents of these. I have seen them elsewhere, but um, yeah, very white company. And then I think this is the last of it, to be honest with you. The crafty baking kind of people out there might appreciate some of these look at like how obnoxious these mugs are but kind of love them a little tea rest spoon rest they've got all of the cake tin liners in the different patterns that one's quite nice got the cupcake toppers up there cupcake cases i think that's pretty much all of their christmas stuff that they've got out at the moment One, two, three bags. 
matched your jeans on today. It's cooled down that much. Just got my Primark jeans on. I just wish they were a little bit more straight leg rather than... They're not skinny, but... Yeah, I mean, they're nice. Nice enough. And then just this um, linen shirt on, which I've actually got so much wear out of in the heat as well. I've been shopping. I've got my goods. And I feel like I'm just going to dive in and just share everything with you. Barney's not going to like this, but I've got him some nail clippers. I usually have like the vets, do, not the vets because he goes mental in the vets, but the groomers do it. His daycare basically do um, grooms and you can pay to have their nails done. Um, but I just thought I would give it a go with myself with this one. I'm always petrified of getting the quick. If you've got a dog and you know that pink bit, if you cut it, it just bleeds loads. But this one's got a light on it and it was only 4 99 So I thought I'll give it a go. His dew claws need doing. So I'll give it a go. I also got, and these do have clippers in as well. This set for £12, but it doesn't have the light and it's a very like basic standard pair so I thought I'm still going to go for this one anyway because it makes me really nervous cutting my nails um, but this one also has clippers in to cut his paw pads so again another thing like his paw the fur and his like paws get quite long and like even matted I noticed last time when I was trying to like cut it with not proper scissors so it was just a bit of a faff so I thought I could do with one of them so I got them got some sweet corn this is like a stereotypical b and method i've got a bird feeder so this is like we've been enjoying sitting out on the patio and i've noticed quite a few new birds coming and look like in and amongst the trees there's like old bird houses so maybe they're nesting we really want to get one of those camera ones as well where you can actually see them nest in like a camera little bird house but for now i picked up this at 2.99 little bird feeder and then i did pick up Okay, and there's a couple of Christmas decorations in that. But I did pick up a little bird house as well to add to one of the trees for them. I was going to say, I don't know if you should do this, but why not? Our, like, tumble dryer, or if I brush Barney, I always put a spare outside for them to use to nest for insulation. But also the lint from our tumble dryer, I also put outside for nests for birds to have a nice cozy house. I'm all about the cozy vibes, and I want the birds to make sure that they're cozy as well. A couple of Christmas bits. For my real tree, which hopefully if we get around to picking a real tree and popping it in the kitchen area, that's going to be probably the more nostalgic one, kind of garish, not garish, but just red and green themed kind of like stuff like this, like little felt toys. I've got like a little felt polar bear from Dell's Farm. I've got a golden retriever with a scarf on from Zara Home last year. And I thought these two would make little cute additions to that tree as well. So we've got a fuzzy um reindeer with ski poles kind of reminds me of being in finland and then i also got this one again all the cozy vibes at three pound this one it's a burgundy mug with warm christmas wishes and actually that cream on top looks delicious even though obviously it's fake looks really nice makes me want to make a hot chocolate myself oh these have been going viral so i'm so excited to try this out one of the damp dusters from scrub daddy have you seen these i grabbed myself a blue one and you essentially just damp it squeeze it out dust all the surfaces and it like clings to it and then you just rinse it off and just keep going so there's no need to go through several cloths you just literally use the one uh so yeah we'll give that a try i've got some ritz crackers these were really affordable and they're delicious and our cheese board isn't complete without a uh Ritz cracker. Oh, also just this nest. This has just come off of it. These were six pound full price, but they were in the clearance to one pound fifty. So that was kind of the main reason why I got that. And then I got some bicarb of soda. I got a washing machine cleaner that I want to do. So I've got a couple of command strips just because I thought they were quite handy to have. Got this vase. How nice is this for just three pounds? The ridged kind of glass design. I've got one from H and M home that i love and it's a lot bigger than this but sometimes like when we had friends over recently um in fact I if the last three times we've hosted i've been given tom and i have been given white roses which is lovely but it's funny how each time we've been given white roses i feel like people just know that we like our neutrals but um yeah just to pop a bunch of white roses which usually are a bit small too small for 
the big H&M wide rimmed one. I thought this would be perfect. I also got some Tango Apple. I'm a fizzy drink lover, but I always get like the diet version, the sugar free version. And I have like one a day, it's like my limit. I usually have diet Coke, caffeine free, but I saw these and I thought these would be really nice. Just Tango Apple. I've got some Christmas wrapping paper. I actually got a few rolls because these weren't, these were only three meters. So the big ones that they do at 10 meters obviously have a lot more paper, do a lot more wrapping. And these ones are nice, but because they're only three meters, I did stock up on a few of these. So I got two of the ones with the writing on. And although this is the one that drew me in, I feel like it is quite busy. So to fill them out, I just got lots, well, four rolls of the plain white one with the little gold Christmas trees. And I do already have one gift wrap left of a Zara home one, which is like a white crinkled paper with little mini gold stars on. So I'll use that as well. And then what else do I get from that range? I've got some more um, from that range in the gift bag section. So we've got this one. I think I've got two of these, yeah. I loved it that much that I thought I'll get two of these at just a pound each. The plain Christmas tree one that says, again, Merry Christmas with love. And then this one also at a pound, oh baby, it's cold outside, it says. And I love the kind of like house illustration on that. One pound 25 this one is, and it says, have yourself a Merry Christmas. I also got from that same range at one pound these gift tags. And then I got some ribbon. They do the ribbon of three for five pounds. I probably should get some more of this one actually. Might as well got some more in there, but this one in particular, I love. So it's just a white, well, it's actually a cream, a cream organza with gold stars on, and then that one's just a simple shimmery. It's not glittery, it's just shimmery, because I know glitter can go everywhere. So I just got those three. I also got this one, which was four pounds, and it's a five pack of ribbon. Three of the bottle bag, love these so much. So three pound, three of those. Love them. They did have them in pink and gray. Got some treats for Mr. Barney Boo. And they've got festive ones. So these wag treats are always really affordable. He goes through a bag of these pretty quickly, I'm not gonna lie, because he's a big dog. But um, I thought I would get the festive ones that they've got. So this one, the three bird roast with turkey, chicken, and duck. And then this one, why does this sound so nice? Festive cookies with cinnamon and coriander. Maybe not the coriander part, but festive cookies with cinnamon. Boring Perch says some mayonnaise we needed more of and spring water tuna. Got some oven pride as well. It's time for me to clean my oven. It's the worst job in the world, but I thought I would get this as well because this is more of a daily oven and kitchen cleaner, degreaser. Last but not least, I got my favorite fabric softener, the Fairy Outdoorables. I know it's the ultra concentrated, so you only need a little bit, but I fill up the tray because it just smells so good. So it's probably a bit excessive that I go through this as quick as I do, but it's so good. And that's everything that I got. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed coming to B&M with me. I did say I showed Barney, wouldn't I? didn't I? Should I just bring him up now and I'll shout him up? and he can come and have one of these treats. Let's give him some of the festive cookies. Barney, come. Did he hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear the pitter patter. I think he's coming upstairs. Oh, oh, Barney. What have I got for you? What is this? Do you want to do some tricks? Excuse me. No, he wants to go through the shopping. Do you want to speak? Speak. 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 Good boy. I need to get these open. Can you give me a paw? Yeah. Good boy. Can you speak? Come on with me. Can you go back? Sit. Speak. Whisper. Good boy. You're so clever, aren't you? You're so clever. Well, anyway, that was Barney saying goodbye as well. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video, which will probably be a nice chunky vlog, hopefully.
He's gone, he's gone back downstairs and left me. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I um, apologize for any non-Christmas lovers out there or people that don't want Christmas this early. It's not changing my content. I'm not going Christmas all of a sudden. It was just a little sneak peek today. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out JJ's house for um, the dresses that I showed you at the start of this video. I will leave links in the description box below to their website. Be sure to check them out. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.